Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. Today is August 13th, 2023. The Lord titled this vision, Dark Matter. In the video titled Darkness Approaches that was posted on August 9th of this year, the Lord spoke about CERN. He gave me this vision of CERN in 2018, but I have never recorded a video of it, so I am doing it today. The scripture that the Lord gave me is Habakkuk, 2 verses 1 through 3 which read I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved and the Lord answered me and said write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it for the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak and not lie Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. When the Lord gave me this vision of CERN, like most people, I had never heard the term dark matter in the past, as it was mentioned in science fiction movies and shows, but I never really paid much attention to it, was not familiar with its meaning, and had never looked into it or done any research on it. And this is the vision. On August 8th of 2018, during my time of prayer, I heard the Lord speak to me the words, Dark Matter. At first, I thought, what is that, Dark Matter? I continued to pray, but the Lord then repeated it several more times, and I thought, Lord, why are you telling me this? Again, I continued on with praying, but after he repeated it a few more times, I felt to stop praying and listen to what he wanted to tell me. I sat down with my Bible and was drawn to the scriptures listed above. I then asked the Lord if this is where he wanted me to read, and he replied, yes, dark matter. As soon as he said that, I was instantly drawn into an open-eye vision and taken to a location where I found myself standing directly in front of the statue of the goddess Shiva that is in front of the CERN facility. I felt the presence of the Lord to my side, and I asked him, what am I doing here? He then asked me, what do you see? I said, I see a false god named Shiva. The Lord said to me, what does it represent? Not really being 100% sure, I said, I think it represents chaos and destruction. He said, my son, you are correct. In a very short time from now, America will live this. I understand this to mean that America will soon be living chaos and destruction. I then asked the Lord, what about dark matter? I understand America will live chaos and destruction, so why are you saying dark matter? Upon asking that, I was immediately taken inside of the CERN building, and the Lord and I were standing at the back of a large room that looked like some type of laboratory. Directly in front of me, on the other side of the room, I could see a man from the back. He was standing and facing some type of glassed-in, contained area. He had on a white lab coat, and his arms were inside of gloves that were inserted through the glass into this area. It looked like one of those precaution areas that are used to keep from getting exposure to some dangerous substance. Then the Lord brought me closer to the man so I could get a better view and observe what he was doing. I found myself standing just to the side and slightly behind the man and was able to see through the glass wall and watch him while he was working. I saw many tiny silver-colored vials in rows in a container on the counter inside the glass. They looked to be about one inch high and a half inch in diameter. The man was using extreme caution as he worked. He used mechanical fingers to very carefully pick up one vial at a time and then slowly place it in a small box. He then closed and sealed the lid on the box and then slowly brought it out through the glass area and carefully placed it on the table beside him. I watched him do this a couple of times. Then, with the next box, as he was pulling it through the glass, the lid accidentally got caught and popped open. With that, the vial flew out of the box, hit the floor, and broke. Immediately, and I mean immediately, the room filled with darkness. 
so dark and so fast that I could not see a thing. I could only say it was almost like the darkness exploded into the room and filled the entire room in a fraction of a second. I could not see a thing. It was total pitch black darkness. The next thing I knew, we were outside of the CERN building and I saw the darkness fly out of the building and begin to expand out in every direction. The more it spread, the faster it seemed to go, covering more and more. The Lord then said, dark matter will cover the world for three days. The people in this building will be responsible for unleashing dark matter. They are collecting it to use as a weapon. A drop of dark matter escapes and the world is plunged into darkness. During this time, portals will be opened and unimaginable things will be loosed upon man. The Lord then brought me up above the building, and as I watched this billowing darkness rapidly expand out exponentially, like a thick, black, non-transparent fog or smoke all across the land, he took me up very high to where I had a view of the whole earth. I watched as the darkness spread so quickly, going out in every direction until it covered the whole world, in what appeared to me like just a matter of minutes. As the vision was ending, the Lord showed me a man's face in the distance. As I continued to watch his face, it was brought closer and closer and got larger and clearer. When his face was close to me, I saw that this man had a gray beard, longer grayish hair, and had on a lab coat. There was a look of horror on his face with his eyes wide open as if he was screaming out in terror. He looked like a scientist and reminded me somewhat of Albert Einstein. I got the sense that this man was the scientist responsible for the incident. The vision ended. The Lord then spoke these words to me. My son, I have showed you this to prepare the people to prepare my remnant. The dark matter will diffuse in three days. The light will return to the earth. Nothing will be the same ever again. I am coming soon through the dark matter. Be ready, my remnant. Amen. Lord Jesus. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. Please like and share if led by the Lord to do so. Please see the description box for the transcript of this word. And if there's anyone out there who has not come to the Lord Jesus, repent now, ask for forgiveness, and surrender your life to him. Time is short. Thank you, and God bless you. Bye for now.